Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Um, Seventh Saga, Breath of Paladins, um, Lufia Quest. Now, this is Seventh Saga. I'm Mysterious JG. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if you can't hear the background sound. I don't have my external speakers. I'm also in a spot here where I could have to cut this off at any time because i got people on the way. But uh, if I don't upload something soon, I'm going to be out of new material, so I'm going to play some Seventh Saga. <laughs> Let's play it. It's good stuff. We, last you joined us, we were about to go into the office of Generalissimo, head of whatever this town is, dude, who uh, we have to talk to before anything's going to happen in the story. And we think he might have a rune. I know you want my treasure, the moon rune. If you do something for me, perhaps I will give it to you. Think about it, old man. One night with your wife here, and you can have the moon rune. The sorceress, Serpent, is abducting the children of my hometown, Palosu. I wish to go there myself, but I can't leave here. My feet are nailed to the floor. You have no idea how much my knees are in pain, having twisted around to face you in this direction. <laughs> Will you go there and save the children from Serpent? Uh, no, no way. I don't have time. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, of course we're going to go. Yeah, we'll do it, buddy, but only for the moon run. We don't care about the kids. I knew I could count on you! <laughs> Alright, folks, so we have a new quest to get the moon rune. We have to go to the town of Palasu and find Serpent and rescue children. Now, a couple of things have changed since the last time I Let's Played. I've played this uh, off-camera a little bit. <laughs> because I was in a circumstance where I could do that, but not record. And for that reason, as soon as now level 37, Old Man's level 40, I should at this point be over-leveled for the next few quests, by enough that even this ridiculous game <laughs> will allow me to win some battles. The other big thing that I did, you see the glowing red on the, uh, see how that's glowing red? That's because that dude has the moon rune. You knew that, folks, didn't you? Of course you did. But the other big thing that's changed is that I have uh, wandered around the overworld. I've gotten to all the towns you can get on this continent that don't require you to do big quests to get to the next continent. There's Palacio. That's the town that he's from. We're not going to go there yet. Why am I not going to go there yet? Well, first of all, let me show you on the map here. Oh, wait. Wait, using the map didn't do anything? Did I... Oh, I hit the water run. Okay. Yeah, see, we're here. Uh, basically, what I did is I did a circuit of all the towns, including this town down here, which I may not even bother to visit on camera. This, If I had done the dinosaur quest, I would have popped out of this lake, visited this town, they would have said, Hey, dude, you're on the northern continent. And given me vague directions on how to get to other plot stuff. But there's nothing to do here if you don't have that quest. So, I made the trip down there. Maybe I'll teleport down there to talk to people and show you, but there's really not a whole lot of point. Uh, Pelosi, where that guy is, is like up here someplace, I think. Uh, once I get all the runes that can be found on this continent, we'll eventually uh, have plot events are going to get us over here. Which, you know, hey, we've been here, we've been here, we've been here. Game's going to have to wrap up over here, I would think, right? Well, we'll see. But at any rate, uh, what I've decided to do, because I played around a little off camera, and I got sick of just leveling, so I did some plot stuff off camera to see about where my characters are level-wise. And um, a couple videos back, we found out about Doros, and I was like, eh, let's not deal with Doros yet. But, you know, it's been eaten away at me. It's like, I know there's this evil dude controlling this town with magical dark power, and I'm just going to be, like, blowing it off. Nah, that's not what a hero would do. So let's go deal with Doros. Because we are doing things out of order, but we can handle this. The missions we should have done before we got to this are going to be a little bit of a, you know, ridiculously easy. But, um, hey, you know, we got to do something about Doros. Doros is just not a good dude. So, uh, let's take to refresh your uh, memory of what Doros is about. I pledge my loyalty to Doros. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. I'll be no one but Doros, and so forth. That's what the people of this town is about. The people of this town are about Doros. Uh, but you know what? Something about that just doesn't strike me as being nice. Somehow I don't feel like, you know... I don't know, what is he, like Rush uh, Limbaugh or Glenn Beck? He's, he's just some kind of evil mind control dude. He ne we need authorization from Doros before we can buy anything. And I don't think we're going to get authorization from Doros, because I think Doros is a freaking evil monster. So, uh... Let's see if we can't find a way to get to Doros and take him down. Hail Doros! Oh, 
Doros is our master. I am the master. Dot, 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 dot. Doros is in the castle above. I don't worship Doros or anything, I just happen to be aware of that fact. Alright, so here we are in the new Doros land. As you see, there are flames blocking us from going north. So let's cut over to the west and take this alternate route here. Do, do, the alternate route here. <gasps> A trick. What do you know? I can't believe it. We try to open up a um, chest, and it turns out it's a dangerous trap. Who would have thought in this game? Well, let's see if we can trap him with the anti lejes tactic of raising our defense so that he'll constantly try to lower it and occasionally fail. Or perhaps he'll just cast Ice Man. Hey, see? Overleveled, folks. Gotta love it. Let's try to defeat this guy before he can run away and really tick me off. <laughs> Not that we need money, which is all you really get for beating these guys. Ooh, you're hurting her, King Trick. And you're not getting any health back from her. Booyah. Overleveled, folks. What did I tell you? It's necessary in this game. Emerald found. Yay. It's pretty much necessary in this game, though. As you've seen, I've got a couple of videos, and I'm glad I have them, where I was wandering around in that cave under the castle of the Rogue Apprentice, where you could see that even though I was like three or four levels overleveled there, I was still missing all the time. Now I'm way overleveled, so things are finally, like, you know, easy-ish. But uh, a couple of things to note here. In my overleveling, I have uh, acquired, I think, the last... Um, you joined me, I was at, like, like, Protect or Revive as my top spell. She's got Vacuum 2 now, which is the, like, kills everything on screen spell. Except for, like, you know, you and your ally, of course. And I believe that's the last spell she learns. Olvan, uh, who really cares what his magic is, but, uh, he's now got MP Catcher and Heal 3, so... whoop -dee. wonder if this is gonna be a trick. What do you know, folks? It's gonna be a trick. Well, just in case. It, it seems like I wasted turns upping stats before, but let's... Let's stick with what we know works. He can't hit us anyway, so it does seem a bit pointless, but I will skip the casting power on Olvan step this time, because that really does seem to be unnecessary. Even the defend before attacking step is unnecessary. That's how much this guy rocks. Olvan, I mean. Oven, he's totally right. I am using save states, just a, a V seed. I will give that to Asuna, but I will wait until I have save stated because I'm a big stinky cheater. Yes, excellent. Worked exactly as I wanted it to. Four instead of one or two or something crap like that. Do, do. Do, do. I can't take the M water because I have too many items, folks. I am not going to sweat that. I was tempted to take M water and then grab that chest. As a matter of fact, I probably should have done that. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll do that after I kill this thing. Do, 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 do. That was not a griffin by any stretch of the imagination. Griffins are big, like sort of, aren't they like half lion, half bird? Not in the like front half as a lion, back half as a bird sense, but in the it crawls around on all fours, and but is a bird otherwise sense? I don't know. Well, at least it wasn't Kathy Griffin. I don't think I could have handled that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's go uh, use the M water. Somebody suggested to me I use M waters instead of using MP catcher all the time. Oh wait, it's M water. It's not M herb. So I really don't need this thing at all right now, do I? Yeah, never mind. Okay, forget it. That was a waste of time. But if we're literally lucky, we can get out of the room without another encounter. Huzzah! We got out of the room without another encounter. Now I know from uh, checking out, I was just out of curiosity, I checked to see other LPs of this game, because I didn't think there were any, but it turns out there are. Let's just see Vacuum 2 in action. Isn't that awesome, folks? Super high-pitched, annoying wine, and then stuff dies.
and a completely wasted turn, and really wasteful use of magic in this battle, and very little experience because all those enemies are really weak by this point in the game. But I saw from somebody else's, uh, there's like hidden behind a column in this castle somewhere, it's like, there's hidden items throughout this game, there's no particular reason you ever know where they are. And I have not checked out a fact to like get every single one of them, but since I happen to know there's one here, I might as well grab it. Come on, didn't work, damn it. And then he runs like a coward. I don't even know if these things use magic, but I'm still going to try to catch some MP. Yeah, I'm just like wasting magic left and right here. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> if I don't have like some magic back by the time I face Doros, I will be a little annoyed, but what you gonna do? Do do it's time to face Doros. Sin received vacuum, so now she can finally clean up the apartment. And received a harp. Those are nice. Harps prevent one instant death spell from affecting you. So if the enemy uses vacuum and you have a harp in your inventory, um, it basically like... Oh, I think this is where I need to be. I lost the jail key. Enough is being punished by Doros. Hmm, jail key. I thought we'd have to crawl over the dungeon looking for the proper treasure chest, folks. No, it turns out, and I did not you look at a fact for this, I just figured it out eventually. There's the jail key, it's underneath the table. I found the jail key. Oh, never mind, it didn't trigger the uh, epic plot music. And now I have a jail key. And it unveiled nothing. Let's see what this guy says now that I have the jail key. That was a jokey enough, he's being punished by Doros. What if I give him the jail key, like a nice person? Nothing happens. It's like, you you are releasing prisoners, and I now really face being punished by Doros. <laughs> do, 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 do. Nothing. Hey, now there's actually somebody to talk to in there. It is locked. I should probably use, not the wind rune, the jail key. Are you planning to overthrow Doros? No. You should leave town as soon as possible. Right. Hey, Doros is great! Why would I want to overthrow Doros? Okay, let's overthrow Doros. Then I will give you this to you. It will be useful someday. As soon as the star. Do, 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 do. I have yet to get to Doros. The star will save your life. I haven't actually gotten to Doros while playing around off camera without having the star in my inventory, but I am under the impression that you cannot defeat Doros without the star. It is a plot. This game loves giving you plot items you have to use before you can fight enemies. But they are always enemies you can get to without the plot items, so you can just, like, waste a bunch of, you know, your life trying to defeat enemies and not knowing there's a plot item you need first. This game loves that. But anyway, let's continue our search for Doros. Now that we have the star, it is uh, even more important that we find Doros, because we can actually do something about him now. I believe... The key to finding Doros is probably over here somewhere. Ooh, all sorts of treasure in here. Or tricks. Silly rabbit. Alright, I really need to try and get some magic out of this guy because I just do not have magic going here. And of course it didn't work. Maybe I can kill him before he gets a turn. Yes, I can. Nice. Topaz found. Do do. I really need some magic, but I've got M herb, so you know, if it comes down to it, I can just ah see. And there was an M herb in that thingy. Ha! <laughs> Perfect. I can use one and still have nine and not feel like I have somehow, by using the items the game gives you to use, have somehow been wasteful. And a B agility. I think that's the temporary agility booster, so I don't care that much. Do, 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 do. Oh, never mind. Whoa, what are you about? I face you guys off camera, but I have yet to face someone on camera, so let's feign shock and find out what this guy is. Whatever he is, we're not getting magic sucked out of him. He likes to catch on fire and hurl himself at you, that's cool. 
Hey, and I got magic out of him. 40 MP. All right. And I hurt him some. Let's see if he's got any more magic, shall we? Yes, he does. He even uses magic, which would explain why he has magic. Ah, uh, but we've gone over, folks, and I did something I didn't mean to do there particularly. Alright, so when we come back, we're going to continue fighting this big golden... kind of looks like some kind of old golden man in brown uh, rags. And uh, we'll find out more about this exciting monster in the next video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.